Hello, folks. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We back. Welcome to the Sean Dejon Show, the only salt and pepper team yeah, in the parish. Huh? That's correct. Got my man Danny White sitting right next to me. Want to talk a little bit about our sponsors so we can get on the road. Benny's Supermarket, 806 South Union Street in Opelousas. And uh, did you get their specials for the week? No, I didn't get a chance to get it. Oh, <laughs> Danny it. White, I gave you a mission. I missed enough. Didn't get a chance to go get it. Well, all you got to do is call up over there and yeah. talk to Benny. You know Benny? Yeah. He's on the ball. Him. I'm going to go there today and get that done. The they open seven know. days a week. They got daily plate lunches. Yeah, and, right. and let me tell you what's good about Benny's is if there's something that you want, like a particular mm. wine or oh, yeah. something like that, you can tell Benny about it next time you go in there, he'll have it for you. Oh, yeah. They good about that, you know. But I don't believe they got every, he got every wine in the country on his, de on his shelf, I can tell you that. I, I looked through that you wine. You drinking all that wine? <laughs> <laughs> I was started to buy me a bottle. I was looking at all that wine he had when I went in there the last time. Man, he got some wine in there, man. Don't you go drinking that bottle of wine, you'll be all drunk. <laughs> he talk about. <laughs> and let me tell you what Ben is also have is his muscle milk, you know. Muscle milk. Full of milk. protein. I love that stuff. In fact, I'm going to pick yeah. up some today. I got to go try some of that. Oh, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, muscle, muscle milk. milk. It's good for your bones and your body and your so muscles and all that. Yeah. Got a lot of protein in it. And it's, yeah. uh, it's a fast body and visit with my friend Benny. Yeah, my nephew was out here. You he went and, and bought, some, bought some muscle milk. Oh, yeah, man, that's mm -hmm. good stuff. And, uh, and Benny Joe, too. American Bank and Trust Company since 1958. I saw Ronnie Lashute this morning. Uh, they got a good staff over there, and they're ready to help you with Internet banking. You can pay your bills online. Uh, and you can even get the current weather conditions yeah. Yeah. online with American uh, Bank. That's so cool. Uh, American Bank and Trust.net with locations in Opelousas, mm -hmm. Port Barry, Lawtel, Crotch Springs, and Lafayette, folks. Visit mm -hmm. with them. Targill Season Butcher's Plus, Ted Bellard, and his good staff over there. We have, uh, mm -hmm. we have a good online store you need to mm -hmm. check in on. Uh, got a lot of good products for sale online. Yeah. Targill.com. T R G I L. Targill.com. Don't forget the good old mama fried chicken, two locations. Oh, yeah. Chick yeah, Drive man. and Go ahead. West Landry. Bellard's Poultry, St. Landry Emmons. Yes, sir. So, anyway, what's up, Daniel White? Talk to me, sweet well, lips. Not, not, Only not, salt and pepper <laughs> tea in the parish right here, man. Yeah, well, I've been, I've been meeting some, uh, some uh, very interesting people. I met Mr. Kim Fontenot, director with the city last week. That's what he does. He does all the, the keep everybody intact in over there at the city. And I want to, he say he look at our show. Thank you for looking at our show, Mr. Kim Fontenot. And uh, who else you ran and into? And I ran into Miss uh, Teresa Frank, ex-wife of Charles Renard, in our office yesterday. I hadn't seen her in ages. I'd like to not recognize her. She had been looking at our show. Yeah? Yeah. So thank you, Miss Teresa, for coming by and give us your business and looking at our show. And also, Mr. Tracy Armon met him at the graveyard. I would go to the graveyard every Sunday and pray to my mom and daddy. What was Tracy doing at the graveyard? No, he wasn't at the graveyard. He just happened to pass, and uh, he saw me, and he stopped. And he wanted to know what the, what that big pile of stuff that uh, St. Landry had, uh, the, had the uh, whole uh, catering from Shastri. On the on the ground, right across from. Oh, the they had a bazaar. No, it was a little uh, cook-off uh, for for to raise money for some some kind of stuff. I went talk with the guy. He told me that they was raising money for the church. Oh, that's good. And that's how I met Mr. Tracy Armand. He was wanting to know was that uh, food over there for the public. I told him, Yeah, I just got me a hot dog from it. <laughs> So, so that's when he asked me, he said, my mom and daddy look at y'all all the time. He said, I can see y'all every now and then myself. And he said, I know Sean Dijon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been knowing Tracy. Hello. Tracy's a little younger than me when we were kids. We used to run around. Me see and enough? his brother Larry. Larry. Larry got, uh, yeah. 
got dr he drowned in uh sure in Port Bay. Yeah, he was yeah. in Bayou Catavale and uh, he drowned. Uh -huh. uh, he got knocked out of his boat and he was by himself oh, and boy. he drowned. So that, that was a bad lick, man. Unfortunate that, that happened, boy. Yeah, young man too. Yeah, nice guy. I met him. Mm -hmm. Thank All you for right. looking at our show, Tracy. Um, you know what, man? I was talking to Tommy. Tommy Artigo at Tommy's Tom. Mobile. Yeah. I said, Tommy, how come the racetrack and Tiger tracks, you know, everybody said it was over there because the gas is like 10 cents or 12 cents a gallon cheaper than mm -hmm. Tommy. Sure enough. I said, how can they sell gas so much lower than, than you? He said, it won't be long before they'll be selling at my price. He said, the gas that Ooh. like Tiger tracks and racetrack uh. and all that, Places like that sell uh, unconditioned fuel. You know what that is? What that is? Okay. Unconditioned fuel is fuel that does not have additives in it. Okay. Whoa. Therefore, you don't get the performance or the mileage that you would with Thomas okay. uh, uh, fuel. So he's got additives in his fuel that make your car uh, uh, run and and have more power too. So he said, and being as the fuel has no additives in it, it makes your car run rougher. And that, I mean, you're going to burn more gas when your car doesn't have the power and stuff yeah. like that. It's going to start for gas, so it's going to burn more gas. So he said, you really don't come out any better at all. In fact, if anything, you might be hurting your engine by using that fuel because they have this, uh, he said they, they, ha they don't have the additive that makes your car run well. So sure no. Yeah. Boy, that's something to know. But he that's said not too long it'll be mandatory for him to have additives in the fuel. And, and I so think, the gas I think, I'm buying at racetrack don't have with his uh, gas. Uh, sure enough. You buy at racetrack? Uh -huh. You ain't getting no good fuel. Yeah, I guess that's not. That's what Tommy said. I guess not. <laughs> no. I guess not. So anyway, know. so anyway, if you think you're getting better, a better deal on gas, you're not really because your car doesn't run as good and it, it, and it drinks more gas when it don't run good. Yeah. So anyway, I just thought I'd pass that on to the consumers. Uh, yeah, the consumer got to know something when it's got something that help them. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, you know what else? I was talking to Pat Morrow and I went somewhere the other day, and we got to talking, and uh. Uh, I asked him about this rice situation going on. You know, Pat's got a class action suit. He's got over 100,000 acres of rice fields that, that in this class action suit. And uh, what it is is um, the rice farmers um, had this genetic rice uh, in, I think it was 06. Let's see, I got it written down. Um, it's genetic rice. It was formed in uh, after six ten, six month, two thousand and ten, uh, and you may need to get your lawyer uh, to uh, to get you settled. If you had rice in production, you know mm -hmm. the genetic rice. There's something wrong with it. Like I said, Pat's got over a hundred thousand acres and. You know, I was talking to him, and I, from what he said, I think if you need a lawyer, you need to get on the ball because uh, <clears throat> there's a potential settlement in the making. So you better jump on, jump on board and, and get your attorney or yeah. an attorney to uh, handle that for you. Um, <clears throat> but I definitely wouldn't waste any time if you rice farmers out there planted genetic rice. You know, like rice. I said, Pat's got over 100,000 acres Ooh. of it in his class action suit. Yeah. But uh, anyway, just thought I'd let y'all know that. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about them putting them alligators on the Rio Grande River on the border of no, uh, Mexico hear. and the United States? No, I didn't hear. I said they put the alligators in there. They keep them from swimming that river, huh? Sure enough. Big alligator come after you, you gonna <laughs> swim that river, you huh? You swim that river, yeah, huh. I guess so. <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong with that. And we got plenty of alligators. We can put them in there. Huh. Yeah, though, I seen some on the bank this morning on TV. Yeah, they, they line in the banks uh, by the Morganza Spillway. Yeah, that's what uh, Brett them. Briggs went over there and says, Brett Briggs said that as far as you could see, 
There were alligators that's in line good. That's good. on the banks coming out of that high water. And they're going to soon get hungry, hungry, hungry. Yeah, and I saw the deer and the coons and all the, the bear and deer, stuff. They're they, going to come out. Huh? I've seen deers running for, for high ground. Oh, yeah, crossing oh, rivers and everything. Yeah, to see how they was running. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So hopefully um, we, we can uh, go look at that next week or something, if they'll let us. I don't know if they will, but by boat, mm, yeah. I think we could go look at yeah, it. But some of those places, they're probably going to close it down to the public. <laughs> I'm sure the they will. The last one they had, I went out there and re they let you ride out there and everything, but you couldn't go near the bayou part of it or the, near the spillway of it. Yeah, it's a mm. shame that all these people are going to be out of their houses, and, mm -hmm. and it's going to be pretty bad. You it's going to be very inconvenient, I tell you. Yeah, poor people. And uh, mm -hmm. so I wish everybody all the luck and mm -hmm. hope everybody gets evacuated in a timely manner and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, everything goes well, huh? Yeah, I just hope the thing would turn around. Maybe it could turn around. You. Who knows? They, they're hoping yeah. that it don't be as bad as the ship. It, they predict it to be. You know, a lot of people have gone through it twice. The flood of 73 yeah. mm -hmm. and, the, and this flood. And some people have gone through it three times with the flood of 27. That's right. The flood of 73 and this one. That'll be the third time. Mm -hmm. So I imagine those people that got doused with that in 73 are going to say, hey, I'm moving to high ground from now on. Yeah. So they'll probably come to Opelousas, I'm sure. It's a high ground over here. Mm, oh, yeah, I'm quite sure. It doesn't sure. flood, so. Flood, flood. Anyway, we had 90 feet. 90 feet. Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, oh, if good. anybody needs anything, they can contact our good friend Bobby Gutro. In fact, I have a call in for Bobby to see if he Bobby needed Gittrow. anything. I know Bobby Dupre. It was getting stuff out of his camp at Three Mile. Oh, no. And uh, so I told the sheriff, it, I left him a message saying, if you wanted anything said on the show to call me back, I have not heard from him yet. Yeah. But uh, I hope Bobby Dupre got all this stuff out. And I told Bobby, if you need help, call. We'd be glad to put together a crew and go out there and help you, man. Help him pull it out. Oh, yeah. So anyway, good luck to all the people with camps and houses in that flood zone, huh? Yeah, good luck to y'all. and. Be patient. Don't get over anxious and do something, you know. We're going to take a little short break and we're going to be, be right, right back, back with some good pictures with for y'all, folks. Second round of the show, ladies and gentlemen.